It's fine where it is? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I think that is fine. All right, so, yeah, talking real life here. Things, uh, you know, tend to work out in this life or you tend to wrap them into ways that you believe everything was meant to be and happened and negative things arise, but um, recently we've had to deal with something that we didn't expect in this life, which is a little more difficult to deal with and more difficult to turn into a positive. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's our journey to pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Hey friends. <laughs> so we have been trying to get pregnant for a couple months. Maybe six months. It's not as easy as they tell you, you know? You practice all these years, you just keep practicing. <laughs> and... It's been a long road. Yeah. But not I mean, that long of a road. It hasn't been that long. It's funny, I mean, I, I feel like I've felt so much anxiety every month, like, in the last two weeks of my cycle, thinking, is this it, is it not it? And then every time I get my period, I'm like, oh my god. Is it ever gonna happen? And, and I just coached you through the positivity. Brendan's actually said time and time again, if it doesn't happen this month, it's gonna happen for us, babe. You need to stay positive, which is, has been because it's so much to do with mental. It it is so much to do with mental. You can't overthink it. Well, we got a good feeling right now. We do have a good feeling. And that and feeling that's taking us where? To CVS <laughs> to buy a pregnancy test. So, so let's see how it goes. This could be our month. Just one pack. Anything else needed from the feminine section? Well, no, I don't spend a lot of time in here, so it's no, new and me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no tampons, no condoms. All right. <laughs> there. All right. Step one was pretty easy. I feel quite accomplished. We're off on the right foot. Credit card worked. Didn't get declined. All signs are pointing to positive. So I'm gonna drink a lot of water because I get I'm like nervous that I like won't have to pee or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it takes like a little gallon of pee to tell you. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, we Started trying, it took us a couple months, like six months, right? Eight months. Eight months, which was a long, long journey as it was. And you start to question, you know, why isn't this working for us? You know, we treat ourselves very well. We, our bodies very well. We're, we actively pretty healthy. Um, so it's kind of just stuff that ends up being outside of your control. We actually thought we were pregnant in the fall and then got the pregnancy test and realized we weren't. We weren't. The but time has come. I have to pee. Yeah, we built a fire, great in our white fireplace. And now we're gonna do the clear blue. <laughs> and by we, I'm not gonna pee on the stick. It's just me. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge? Whoa, spare the details. You can come out here for a reveal. Can wait three minutes. Three minutes? It's be a long three minutes. What are we gonna do? It's the longest damn time frame of all time. Alright. How do we feel? Wait, you're gonna see it right on there? Yeah, we're gonna see it right on here. You already saw. No, it hasn't been three minutes. <laughs> All right. How do you feel? <laughs> Excitedly nervous? Yeah, very excited and nervous. Got 15 seconds. That's it? Yeah. And then it's been three minutes? Yeah. What? I think we should give it four minutes. <laughs> Just in case. Just for extra baking time. All right. We could do a clock sense.
Ding. <sighs> wait, let's just wait one, let's just wait 30 more seconds. Does it say yes? Does it have a line? What does it do? Um, I think we just, read the box? I think we just look it over. Yeah, but... I think it's a plus and... <laughs> That's very strange. I good about it, but no plus. But we tried to test last night and it said that I was not pregnant. But we don't really believe it. Because I hear it's late and... Which she told everyone yesterday. So we're and still... so, yeah, I'm just not <laughs> giving in. I think. So, you know, know, after Googling a little, you know, what tests are good and not, there's a little skepticism about the other one. So, you know, I'm saying let's triple it up. It's the old triple check. It's got everything in it. I think I should also, we should also get this. That's the up. double check. Two tests, and this is just three. It's three of them. Let's do this one. You don't think we should just get all of them? Why? <laughs> if this one works. Actually, while you're doing your tests, you got your period, no? Yeah. <laughs> Which is like the craziest thing. Even though we thought this was, we were pregnant, but. We're doing this, round two. Round two, two pink lines, five seconds. Hold it downward, facing away from you. Let's do this, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Round two. Do we need some music for this, or? Oh my god. What? What? Well, that would explain yesterday's test. Oh my god. Month seven. Coming up. Practice makes perfect. What Nothing's fuck? easy in this life. Should we go get some wine? Let's get some wine. I'm sorry. But there's gonna be next month. We weren't, so we got back on the horse, practice makes perfect, and started to try again. And then we found out right, actually while well, our families came for Christmas, we found out, which is a very tough time to find out um, you're pregnant because you can't share it with anyone. You gotta wait a couple months. I mean, you don't have to, but um, you're, you know, it's kind of it's traditional. Like we almost didn't even want to tell our parents just in the off chance that something would go wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and then. So we were excited and like silently celebrating yeah. in our bedroom. And yeah, it took us a while to get there. And then we got there. Which, you know, was an exciting time. So, you know, it was a little uh, rough last time around because this stuff isn't easy. And, you know, no one really tells you it is or isn't. But uh, we're feeling good this month. And last time... <laughs> so this time... We hope, but we're gonna find out. All right, I'm gonna run and get you water. And, uh, up this post about body confidence. Well, you should feel confident about your body. I do. Great. <laughs> I'll get you water while you're confidently thinking about being confident. Okay. Wait, we're switching it up? Yeah, babe, last time you wanted to do the clear blue, and we looked it up and said that it gives false positive. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Alright, what do I know? Just a guy trying to build a small community of folks. Huh? <laughs> what are you gonna choose? I mean, I have this one out. Alright. Should we just try this one? Let's give it a go. Do we want a satisfying yes plus or no negative? I don't know if I could handle a no negative. I think I'd rather just a one line. 
It's harsh, the no negative. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, this is what they say first, the double check and the triple check. So start with the check, then we go to the double and the triple. Okay, well, that's the one I chose. That's the check? That's the check. All right, check number one. I'll be out here. It's almost Christmas and my mom's downstairs, so kind of awkward. Can't really celebrate if it's, you know, positive. And got to hold the tears back if it's negative. So, yeah, it's just an awkward time, but it's time, so it's kind of got to do what you got to do. How long are you waiting? <laughs> Getting a little antsy here, so just wondering. It's pretty. I thought you were breathing. <laughs> <laughs> This is true. Yes. <laughs> Two lines, people. Two damn lines. Do we have to do the other ones? Can we just roll that this worked? Oh, OMG. Gee. Yes. Yes! Can you get excited about this, or do you have to do the second or third? Okay, good. We're excited. We're having a baby. It's a baby. I wish we I could scream. We can't scream or anything. Your mom's here upstairs. Your sister's arriving in 15 minutes. Oh my god. This could be too. a very exciting next part of our lives. What a little Christmas miracle. And we just can't tell anybody. Yeah. And you won't even know for three months either. Because we won't put this up, so... Enjoy. Oh my god. Yeah, it was a quiet celebration. <laughs> we should just put pillows over our face and be like, <laughs> That was just what it was. So then we were nine weeks in. Yeah, we were nine weeks in. We had already had um, our first, you know, doctor's appointment, heard the heartbeat, little ultrasound, and, uh, yeah, then... I then. went back two weeks later for my nine-week um, checkup, and it was a little difficult because to my to the point of my um, OB, she was like, you know, Brendan doesn't need to come to the next one. It's, like, not a big, like, checkup. So I went alone, and that's when she told me that there was no heartbeat. And I had to call Brendan and dial him over the phone. So it was just not an ideal situation, obviously, from many standpoints. Um, yeah, and then I had to uh, get a procedure the day after. The day after? Two days later. Um, but the same day that I found out, I actually had a book event that night and had to speak to a room of 200 women. Um, so I didn't really have like... Time to digest. Or process. And I kind of just had to like keep it moving. Uh, and which... you're so strong for doing that. I don't think I could have... I mean, I know I kind of dealt with that and then put on a public face. I'm proud of you. Very proud of you. Two days ago, we got some, I guess what we call difficult news. And, uh, yeah, Hannah has miscarried. So, that was a, a long day, to say the least. And now we're pulling up to the hospital for uh, 
a little procedure called DNC, um, which like, I guess, gets rid of everything. It's all right, babe. We're gonna get through this, we're gonna be strong, and we're gonna be back on the drawing board. This is uh, no easy feat, my friends. Definitely a tough time for us. And uh, we wanna get on the other side of it. You know, we're all human. This stuff happens. You look great. I mean, for a hospital patient. <laughs> you made it. All right, hopefully next time we see something like that. We're delivering a baby. We will be. I'm proud of you. We'll be back soon. So yeah, we had our surgery or our procedure, um, which just took an afternoon. Oh. And then just had to wait a bit for your body to heal. Yeah. And then we're back on the the train. The journey. The journey. The but what is the pregnancy road? Yeah, the pregnancy road, which is real <laughs> and real work, and yeah, from mental to physical. You know, learning a lot about all this stuff and, you know, obviously new territory for both of us. Yeah, I guess it's, it's just kind of amazing to me anyway, and I, I think to you too, you know, we really battled with the idea of sharing this um, with you guys and, and understanding if it's something we wanted to do or not. But the thing, I guess, as we go is, and even as a male in this situation, like how little people discuss yeah. this um, and as you talk about it a bit amongst your friends and family, you know, everyone seems to know a couple people who suffer from this and, or not even suffer, just went through this, um, on their journey. And I think it's important we talk about it and it's important that more t people talk about it because it's not an easy thing to deal with. And we definitely felt, you know, just alone, alone and in a corner. And that was somewhat our fault somehow one of us had something to do with it or, or our combination didn't work or, you know, you just don't know because no one talks about these things. So suddenly it just hits you in the face. There's no prep for it before, or you've never even really heard people talk about it because everyone kept, or everyone keeps it to themselves or within their tight community. So yeah, it's like seen as taboo or like some sort of female issue or like, you know, it just, and because I'm very grateful that you and I are so communicative and strong and, you know, we have such a foundation for our partnership that obviously, you know, we didn't have, like, issues between us and thank God we had each other to not only share the good news of the pregnancy and then obviously the bad news of it too, but it took us a while to then, like, you know, tell friends and family and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough because you want to be telling them the exciting news. Right. And also the other tough thing is, depending on what age you're at, but at our age, everyone's getting married and then everyone's having kids. So then every week there's a new baby announcement or someone's pregnant. And so that stuff starts to really eat you up. Um, but, you know, you got to celebrate all those other people because they could have gone through troubles. They might have not talked about it. We don't yeah. really know or how long it took them. You know, you seem to hone in on the people who just, it was my first try and it just happened. It's like, I mean, be blessed that that happens to you because it's not easy for everyone. But we're remaining very positive. Yeah, we're... And we're excited. Happy to be on the other side of it. Mm -hmm. um, excited to, you know, keep trying. It's as I have no doubt in my mind that we will get pregnant and have a very happy and healthy baby babies and <laughs> it's just it wasn't our time and that has nothing to do with us or me or you and I we just we no we just we did want to share it because this community can seem like so um I don't know shallow 
and there's a lot of depth to us as people and to like the world and I think it's important to keep that realness um these are like real issues and not you know as someone who is embarking on this journey for the first time you know no one's telling me how it should be or there's not that many people I can talk to who have dealt with this and I feel very grateful for the few people who I follow who have talked about it and I just feel like you know if there's needs to be more transparent yeah and if there's you know if me sharing my story can help someone else feel like less alone in the situation then you know that's amazing so um here we are <laughs> giving you the intimate details yeah. um, but I also think it's important you know it's really easy to to glorify your life on these channels and in the social world and not talk about real stuff because it is fun to show the best side of everything um, but it is all real life no matter what and this is a real life situation and yeah we just made the decision to share it because again it's important to not feel alone to show that life is real for everyone no matter if you look up to people, if you consider yourself on the same level, if you're just following along and learning and, you know, there's something to be learned everywhere. And I think we're in a perpetual state of education and mm -hmm. this is a big educating moment for us and we're taking it day by day and figuring it out. So with that, we leave you part of our journey. It's not all romanticized and amazing, but what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. We're learning from it all. And we remain positive because we are two positive people. And to turn any situation into something to... Anytime. <laughs> we are two positive people who put positivity out in the world who believe that it'll come back to us. So just mm -hmm. because something, I don't want to say something bad happened, but just because something happened that was unexpected and kind of put a pause in our plan doesn't mean that our plan is not happening. It just means that it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to be beautiful when it happens. Mm -hmm. And come that time, we'll be so wrapped up in the next phase that hopefully this will become a small memory of the journey. Mm -hmm. But it'll always remain an important part of the journey and one that everyone should realize is a real, a real possibility. Mm -hmm. So with that, we leave you. And next video will be a little more happy. <laughs> but thanks guys, thanks for your support. This is not easy for us to share, but we feel it's very important. Yeah, and if you have any thoughts or comments that you want to share, obviously leave them below. I'd would love to you know hear and see what you guys are thinking about this and if you've gone through it yourselves and i will try to reply back to comments <laughs>